Hey, Team Yellow, Austin Pedreda here with Tennis Point, and I uh, have the pleasure of having one of our brand ambassadors from the marketing team with us, Nate Woolworth. Uh, why don't you tell them what you got in your hands there? Yeah, so what's going on, guys? Today we have the Wilson Clash V2 in our hands. Just went out there and play tested it on the courts. It's a beautiful racket. It's got this brand new colorway, this maroon slick back look. It's got the Clash on the side. It just really, really pops at the black strings, white stencil. We have the matching bag at Tennis Point and the matching shoes, the Wilson Rush Pro 3.0s, limited edition, brought to you by Dave Lemke, shout out to the man. And this racket's got the 98 frame, 100 frame. What did you like about the stick? Um, first and foremost, as you already kind of alluded to, the new colorway absolutely just pops. I personally play with the blade. I uh, wish the blade was was red like this so it would pop because that would, you know, I'd live and die by that racket. Um, but so no, uh, Aesthetics aside, from the play test that we were out there today, biggest thing I noticed was the enhanced sweet spot. They actually increased the sweet spot by 16%, which is pretty substantial. I know uh, the Yonix, one of their models, I think it was the E-Zone, they increased their sweet spot by 7%. I thought that was a lot. So uh, just to hear that they enhanced the sweet spot by 16%, definitely could feel that, um, especially on some of those like off-balance shots or um, you know the shots that you're not really able to step into and, and make contact with as, as well as you'd like. Um, it's a lot more forgiving on some of those shots that, um, that are a little bit more off-balance. Yeah, just kind of building on what you said there was someone that, when I'm catching your ball at the baseline, it's a little heavier, a little quicker through the court. I don't have as much time and I'm a little late. Or if I'm catching it off-centered and not hitting it in the middle of the W, I definitely feel like I, I can still dominate the ball at impact, which is for me is very important. An aggressive baseliner, taking big cuts, I need to feel like I will be rewarded in this thing. Uh, definitely gives you that and it's we used 100 pro out there it's got good weight 11.5 ounces strong so I mean that stability it's got great flex with the 45 technology that you're seeing across the board with Wilson's products I think that's another great addition as well yeah no absolutely and that was really expanded upon from the old 3d bending uh, technology that they used in the Wilson line um, so Wilson blade clash and ultra all have that new uh, 45 patent protected carbon construction that again really just uh, creates maximum flexibility and stability at impact, uh, paired with the vertical bending of the racket as well, um, increases the overall dwell time. So really on all the shots all around the board, your serve, your backhand, forehand, overhead, volleys, um, definitely can feel it on all, on all those shots. I think the vertical bending allows this racket to be played with from intermediates all the way up to the 4.5 USTA player. Uh, players that have that more north and south swing pattern, you really can still Feel like this racket can hold it in in the ball pocket a little bit longer and kind of keeps your ball uh, more solid through your strike zone so i think that as well as probably my favorite part of this racket it's got to be the direct connect the direct connect fusion f fusing the butt cap to the carbon fiber in the handle which allows for great stability for me I'm, i have my the bottom half of my hand is always off the stick whether it's yeah. serving forehands or backhands so i really like to feel that uh very solid connection i don't like to feel loose or squeaky or anything especially when you're hitting a big kick serve and you're really throwing your wrist at the ball. Yeah. I like to feel like this thing is, is really solid together. So as you guys can see, this thing is one piece. And other brands kind of have it stapled in there. It's like a, another piece of plastic that's kind of put into the uh, butt cap of their sticks. But this thing is... It's fused in there. Yeah, and you can even see it's 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 really rounded too compared to, um, I used to use the Wilson Pro Staff and that's a little bit more of like a jagged edge. Um, can get a pretty nasty blister on your hand after a while. So, um, you know, I think with that with that new um, bud cap system, it really uh, is rounded as well. So um, just great feel all around. And last thing that I'll, that I'll touch on uh, on my end is, is um, the variation of the different string uh, patterns. And the original Clash uh, V1 is actually a 16 by 19 on the 100 Pro. So they actually added in an extra uh, cross so it's overall still relatively open but it is adding in a di um, an additional main so uh, sorry cross my apologies so it uh, definitely does kind of condense the the string bed a little bit but overall is um, all around racket doesn't sacrifice you know power spin control it's really you know everything you need all in one racket you had the one hander out there cracking i felt like you had great depth on the backhand it was i usually like to pick on his backhand he's got the one -y. I like to throw a high top spin ball to the backhand to open up the court a little bit, but with this stick, it felt like you had a lot of solid impact from the baseline and you were really moving the ball, ball around the baseline. Yeah, no, absolutely. Especially with, with some of those like high top spin deep balls to my backhand. Uh, I really think that that enhanced sweet spot really just, um, you know, is, is really forgiving for me. Um, it was allow, allowing me to get a lot of net clearance and hitting those nasty angles cross court back to his backhand, so. Last but not least, the Aggieplast plant-based bumper guard and grommets to me is super cool. It's a, a go green play from Wilson, trying to make this environment a little bit better, last a little bit longer for our people to come. And that's just, a, for me, that's a big proponent that I'm a fan of. It's like, I see all these brands doing it and for them to kind of put it in their latest and greatest is, is pretty cool that they're making that push. And 
I'm always going to be a fan of uh, the brands that are looking out for us that are, that are trying to trying to go green. Yeah, no, absolutely. Good call out. Well, hey, guys, thanks for spending some time with us today. Uh, feel free to visit us at TennisPoint.com. If you're not already subscribed, drop a follow and uh, see you on the next one. Have a great day.